blood cells defend the body from pathogens, the lymphocytes, which release antibodies, and phagocytes, which ingest pathogens. Let's look at how phagocytes work. The phagocyte is attracted to pathogens due to chemicals it secretes. The pathogen binds to receptors on the phagocyte. The pathogen is engulfed by the phagocyte, producing a phagosome. Lysosomes found inside of the phagocyte release digestive enzymes into the phagosome. This then digests the pathogen. The phagocytes are then free to repeat the process. Let's now take a look at how lymphocytes work. Lymphocytes detect markers on the pathogen called antigens. Even our normal cells contain antigens, but it's those markers that the lymphocytes recognize as being foreign that causes Y-shaped proteins called antibodies to be released. These antibodies have a complementary shape to the antigens which they stick to. Once the antibodies bind to the pathogen, there are three things that can happen. The bacteria will either burst open and die, it labels the pathogen so that it's recognized more easily by phagocytes, or it can stick pathogens together in clumps so that they can be easily engulfed by phagocytes. Antibodies can also neutralize toxins produced by pathogens. Your lymphocytes can make memory cells which remain in your blood. These memory cells can quickly produce antibodies should your body re-encounter the same pathogen. It is the discovery of being able to create memory cells that led to vaccinations being developed.